I'm David Attenborough, and I hate nature. Here in the savannas of Africa, there is no more obnoxious a sight than the swarming of the red-billed quilia. Much like the Irish, these birds breed and breed until their disgusting vermin offspring completely cover the earth. Watching the sight, one cannot help but pray for some sort of all-inclusive bird holocaust. Somebody should tell these birds that they can stop fucking already. I stood in this field for five minutes, and by the end I was completely encased in bird shit. For the hundredth time, I shook my fist at the heavens and cursed God. Throw a rock at the Serengeti, and you're likely to hit one of these assholes. Since gazelles are best known for their speed, the crew and I placed wagers on which was the fastest. At first, the gazelles were difficult to startle, but I soon found a way. More so than the fire, it's the dramatic music that makes the gazelles run. Now the race was on, and I was sure to come out ahead. Unfortunately, I put my money on the one gazelle stupid enough to run toward the flames. Unfucking believable. Another animal that can go blow itself is the world famous bird of paradise. Take this flaming queer, for instance. Who the fuck does he think he is? This ugly looking bird is drunk and appears to be saying, Oh no, you didn't. On a comical note, I later ate this bird, thinking it was a piece of fruit. It was delicious, and I spent the afternoon looking for seconds. Here, an extremely racist bird performs a minstrel show. It's not my thing, but apparently this other shithead thinks it's hilarious. Here we see our cameraman, Dave. I told him that if he filmed this tree for long enough, he would see something really cool. In actuality, the only cool thing that happened was that I flew back to England and fucked his wife. Three days later, he was still filming that boring tree, and his children were calling me Papa.